Breaking news. U.S. lawmakers file the SEC Stabilization Act to fire Gary Gensler. U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one. Representative Warren Davidson wrote on the reference to SEC head Gary Gensler. Okay, now this was all happened, just happened yesterday. One of the bill's main provisions is to fire Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler. Um, so that's why I'm introducing legislation to fix the ongoing abuse of power and ensure protection that is in the best interest of the market for years to come. It's time for real reform and to fire Gary Gensler as the chair of the SEC. Now, the Stabilization Act will make common sense changes to ensure that the SEC priorities are with the investors they are charged to protect and not the whims of its reckless chair. Okay. Now, um, according to Fox News, the bill would remove Gensler from office and redistribute power between the SEC chair and commissioners. It would also add a sixth commissioner to the agency, disallow any party from holding a majority on the commission and create an executive director position. So although lawmakers did not mention cryptocurrency in their statements, both Davidson and Emma are known to be pro-crypto and, and critical of Gensler's leadership at the SEC. Emma has, for example, called Gensler bad faith regulator and Davidson is the vice chair of the House Financial Services Committee, new committee, subcommittee on digital assets, financial technology inclusion. Now, this is where this all matters, guys, right here. It will also add a sixth commissioner to the agency, disallow any party from holding a majority on the commission and create an executive director position. So what that means is instead of five people and three of them vote, no, and two of them vote yes. There's no equilibrium there. There's a deadlock. Um, uh, sorry, and there's an unfair advantage. So if three came in and three came in, uh, six came in and three and three, and they both said yes and, and no, then we would have a deadlock. Then there would be a final way to um, create an outcome on those matters. But likely is that more will vote yes, because as you can see, people are seeing very, very good energy in the crypto space for years to come. So let's go and find out in this video exactly what happened and we'll see you. How's it going? What's up and what's happening there? You blessed and beautiful benevolent souls. Welcome to the Crypto Bliss Show. I am so beautifully excited today to do this video for you guys and I'm not even gonna waste any time. There's quite a bit to get through. So I'm gonna try and make this 10 minutes. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into the content. So first things first, of course, um, crypto market cap is sitting at $1.1 trillion and trading volume is at 33.4 million, uh, 33 billion. BTC is back up above the 26K level, which is great. Ethereum is at 1749. Um, BNB at 235, Ripple at 53 cents, Cardano at 28 cents, uh, Dogecoin at six cents still, Solana 1547, uh, Polkadot at 463, Litecoin at 78.72. Um, if you guys want to see a video that I'm going to do later, make sure to hit that notification bell because I'm going to do a crazy video and compare Litecoin to another coin. So make sure to stay tuned. Um, then Avalanche is at 11.71 and Shiba at 6.74, Uni at 4.33, Chainlink at 5.25 and Cosmos at 8.74. Amazing stuff, guys. Fear and Green Index finally has come down a little bit more towards the fear side of things because there is a lot of fear in the market, but nothing to fear because all you have to do is make sure that you dollar cost average into your position. Okay, um, so I'm gonna talk to you about those bubbles in a short little moment, but right now I just wanna get to this one. My usual bubbles. Okay, never mind. I gotta go back all the way. Okay, give me one second, guys. Gaming metaverse. So just those bubbles there are my my beautiful bubbles. Okay, so today we can see that the crypto bubbles. There's a lot of coins that are in the green. 
um, once again. So that's pretty interesting. Lots and lots of thing, uh, coins in the green. So that's great to hear. Um, Sui's got 14.5% up against the BTC pair. Filecoin up 6.6%. Uh, Axie 5.4%. Guys, there's so many coins you can make a shit ton of money with a little bit later on. Now, what I wanted to go and show you guys was this. Okay, so the bliss bubbles. So these are the crypto bliss bubbles. And as you can see, these are the coins that I have particularly invested in. Um, and you can see that some of them are, or in fact, most of them are actually in the green. So Landshare, wow, Landshare pumping 23.7% against Bitcoin today. Absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful here today. So guys, um, let's go and jump into the news quickly. Um, so here. SEC Gensler says BTC ETH not securities in a newly surfaced video. So we're not going to go and check that article, but that was literally from two hours ago. Then we have the Ripple CEO Hinman docs are well worth the wait. Brad Garlinghouse hinted that the eagerly awaited Hinman documents, which detail internal uh, deliberations by securities and exchange commission staff, could tip off uh tip the court battle into ripple's favor well i think the court battle is already in ripple's favor but at the moment it's crazy ai -I. is ai a nuke level threat why ai fields all advance at once dumb pick puns so the reason for all ai fields make significant advancements in the same time and why the fact we haven't blown ourselves up with nukes is a good sign for ai development so i like that um the SEC Gensler BTC says ETH not securities in a newly surfaced video. So we just said that. Um, don't worry about anything here. Although Binance will face criminal indictment, uh, former SEC chief warns. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll see about that. Let's just go and see what happens there. Tether also offloaded, um, well, actually is now minting another 1 billion USDT. Um, so you know, it's the same as the dollar. It's literally just printing, printing, printing. Mark Cuban slams the SEC's ambiguous and outdated crypto labeling. Look how bleak he is with them. Uh, so Mark Cuban has compared SEC's approach to crypto with stock loans. The SEC seems to be taking different approaches to the same thing. Cuban states that labeling a crypto as a security is not black and white. She's right. He is right. So... And the breaking news in this entire video is U.S. lawmakers filed the SEC Stabilization Act to fire Gary Gensler. U.S. capital markets must be protected from a tyrannical chairman, including the current one, uh, Representative Warren Davidson wrote in reference to the SEC head Gary Gensler. So... Um, that's why I'm introducing legislation to fix the ongoing abuse of power and ensure protection that is in the best interest of the market for years to come. It's time for real reform and to fire Gary Gensler as chair of the SEC. Now, this is something that the beautiful um, community are probably going to be absolutely insanely happy with. So, Bye-bye, Gary Gensler. It's probably not going to happen today or in the next month, but it probably will happen very, very soon. And if not, um, by then, it will happen by the time the new presidential um, candidate uh, starts to come into play. That's my personal view, guys. I think Gary Gensler is here to stay. The job that he was hired to do by the people that hired him, he's already done it successfully. He's obliterated crypto. Um, and as you can see on the others chart, he literally has made crypto completely collapse at the, in the past little while here. We were rejected on the others against the 200 here. But I said to you guys that we are finding a double bottom in my two bubbles here and that this would be a very strong double bottom uh, action, especially the RSI is all the way down at the bottom. And as you can see, we should then start to make our way back up there on the others. Now, the Dixie hasn't really made much moves. It kind of has been rejected off of the, the, the one hour time frame as well, off of the, the 200 also. So, yeah, very, very interesting things happening out there. Um, let me just make sure that I've got this chart nice and, and tight for you guys. So, on the daily time frame, the dollar has 
been just coming down. Now we're holding underneath this level. We're continuing to make new lower lows every day, but we are at the oversold in the RSI. We could just kind of float around here a little bit while this still pulls down. I'm expecting that to happen. We have now been rejected off of the 200. We've been under the 200 for a very long time, but please do not forget my very large W pattern that is here on the Dixie. Okay. Now let's go and see the Bitcoin dominance because the Bitcoin dominance has literally pushed up as well. On the daily time frame, we are pumping like crazy here. We've made just green candles literally since June 23rd. No, sorry, June 6th. June 6th, we've literally made just green candles all the time. So it's like seven days of proper green candles here. For me, a bit of a pullback would be great. And then a pump up, a pullback would give altcoins a chance to just have a little bit of a breather. And that's why on my other chart, I think we could get a very strong pullback up kind of to the 200 again um, on the others. That would be great. And that would, guys, if we're rejected once again from that 200 level, once that pulls back up, because you can see it's ready to pull back up and the Bitcoin dominance is ready to pull down. If we pull back up here and we're rejected at the 200, it's time to exit your altcoins. Sell your altcoins into your Bitcoin and Ethereum pairs because at that point, if we are rejected and the RSI starts to turn back down and we are rejected there, I'm telling you, it's time to get rid of your altcoins and put them into Bitcoin and wait for this mess to just fizzle out, the dust to settle, and then you can get back into your crypto. So Bitcoin today, currently on the one hour, is slowly starting to make a nice trend up. We are oversold in the RSI, not a lot of volume coming in. We are at the 200. So for me, guys, if we're rejected at this 200 level again, then hasta la vista. The four hours coming to an overboard perspective as well um, on the RSI. But for me, guys, if we do break this little neckline that we are ha having here, there is a potential trade opportunity to at least this level, if not meeting the 200 level, which I'm sure it will meet around that time. And then if we manage to break through the 200 level, then my next target would be here to here. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of uh, energy happening in the Bitcoin price. The daily is looking um, like it wants to retrace. We're having a current doji on the daily time frame at the moment. So for me, guys, there could be a little bit of a retracement level kind of back up to here, maybe even here at the very least. Okay, if we do get up to there and we're not rejected by this downsloping trend here, then I'm telling you, we will break through. We hit this level, we pull back for some support, and then it's time to break through this level once again, which would mean that this area was actually the bottom in the Bitcoin chart um, in the current time frame. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope to keep it short for you today. Um, thank you for being here with me on the channel. I really do appreciate every single one of you beautiful beasts and lots of love to you all. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next